My name is uh, Kafando Pekdewende. Actually, uh, I'm a pre-review student, and I've done research with NSF on biofuels, wind energy. So I know a little bit about research and engineering. All right, what I'm trying to say today is, uh, can you imagine one day, like a Friday morning, at 7 o'clock, you drive around 59, on the traffic, the bridge collapse. We call that engineering uh, errors, like a flaw design errors. So today I'm going to talk to you about civil engineering design errors and lack of sustainable solutions. OK, a flaw design is when you build a cross and the factor of safety required by state law or federal law is not met. An example is on. Uh, the bridges that collapsed in uh, Mississippi, the one over the Mississippi River collapsed in 2007. Because the factor of safety required for that uh, U-10 gun sets is not met. It was two, but the construction engineering made a one inch so they can save money. And uh, the bridges that you see out there, it's built for 100 years. And after 40 years, that, build, uh, that bridge collapsed. And there was uh, 13 people died and 140 people injured. Also, uh, I'm going to talk to you about uh, thermal expansion. You're driving on the freeway, and you have uh, brand new tires. and you press on the brake, but the road is still slippery. It's because when they build the road, as much as you have rain and overload on the bridge, it expands. It expands. And so you can see some holes on the road. And you can see at some uh, level, it's on that way. And some other level is on that way. And also, I'm, I'm going to talk to you about uh, the factor of safety calculation. The factor of safety is, is what we use. Like, I'm going to build a bridge. I'm using a steel uh, rebars. Like, I can say, like this one. I'm going to build it stand like that. So I need to know when is gonna that uh, stand going to uh, have a failure going on. on. Okay, and I know there is a requirement that the state says, okay, to build a stand like that, you have to have a factor of safety of two. I need to meet that factor of safety in order for me to build the, that stand for the amount of uh, the lifetime required. So, some engineers want to save money. So, instead of uh, that factor of safety, you take the <coughs> steel, it says that that steel can stand 2,500 newton, okay, over the load that you're going to put on that steel. So you're going to find the factor of safety. And if that steel cannot resist to the load you want to put on it, you don't use it. You have to change it and use another. Okay, and uh, next I'm going to talk to you about sustainability. We in America, the buildings are classified in the world classification. It's, uh, we have a degrade on the buildings. We have nice buildings, but are they sustainable? They can fail anytime because we're optimizing the design on it. And next, I'm going to talk to you why there is no sustainable solution. First, it's a lack of foundings. What makes America, America is because of technology. We don't put enough money in the research funding to investigate those buildings that have been built since 1960 to see what type of errors they have. We keep up with maintenance, maintenance, but the maintenance can fail. And next, 
we're going to talk. I'm going to talk to you about what's going to happen if a design error happens. You have a a twenty-five thousand, uh, twenty-five ten to power of six newton load on um, uh, a beam. So as much as you use it, it goes down. So we need what sustainable solution? How we can reuse that beam after a hundred years to remake it usable? All right. I'm going to talk to you about sustainable solutions that engineers has come up with and find it's a problem. That's why we're not moving forward and we have a degree in the world. There is a conflict of interest. Uh, we have ASE, it's uh, American Society of Civil Engineers. They're working on it. But the US government need to invest more money in the research. That's one of the problems. If we don't research, we're not gonna find uh, solutions. And also, there is a conflict of interest in the engineering firms. They wanna save money, so they just build it to build it. It's pretty, but the factor of safety and the margin of failure are not respected. And also, in some uh, engineering firms, the higher subcontractors and you have to hire some, I'm taking an example of Jacobs, okay? I'm the head of Jacobs and I have my daughter running an engineering, like a subcontractor company. If you don't hire my daughter, you're working for me, you don't hire my daughter to work for you, and the friendship is gonna be broken. That's what happened out there. They hire companies that not specialize in the uh, structural engineering firm to do the work. And then not, they don't know anything about the work. They just do it because they're gonna take the money and they need the money. And uh, big engineering firms, they cannot keep the employees because sometimes there is work, sometimes there is no work. And uh, when you have a Big engineering company, you hire people that has master's, bachelor's, so you have to pay them $100,000 a year and stuff like that. So you better work with subcontractors. And also, we found that if a lot of engineers have the PE license to build a building or to sign on the blueprint, the blueprint is the plan of the building with the codes and everything. We need to have those engineers have license, and the license need to be renewed every two years. So we're gonna make sure they're performing and they're keeping up with the updates. And also, they need to know about the code and ethics of American Society of Civil Engineers, because a lot of people out there they're building bridges, they're building buildings, but they don't have license. I'm gonna do it, and I pay. I pay. You have a master's. You have a PE license. I pay you hundred thousand. You just put a stamp on it and you sign it. It's out there. I can do whatever I want. But is the blueprint right? So I was trying to let you guys know that we need to make sure we support for construction and sustainable solution. If we don't. One day you're gonna sit in your house and the house is gonna collapse. And that's a big risk we're taking right now. That was it. Thank you.